Today I'm going to use HandCalc's A Python Library to render out the z-score equation, um, which looks like this. So it's z is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma in Python, right? So here's the thing. I've done it before, obviously. It's on the screen right now. But the difference is that I used O instead of sigma because HandCalc's gave me an error when I actually put the symbol that I copied from Google um, that was sigma. And then I was looking as to why that was, and I figured out that certain symbols have substitutions so I can't just put like the actual symbol that I copied from Google and instead I have to actually write mu or I actually have to write um, sigma so that hand calcs um, understands that that's what the symbol is. So I'll do that today. So I'll import hand calcs first um, and then so that I could actually render out these equations I'll do import hand calcs dot render and I'll run that and so now, the again, the equation is z is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. So I guess I'll just put some variables here. So we have x, um, we have mu, and we have um, sigma. So I guess I'll do mu, and then I'll do sigma. And I'll set it equal to something like the mean might be, I don't know, 4, or maybe 45, and sigma might be 3. So mean is 45 standard deviation is 3, and then x could be, I don't know, 23. And so right now, if I just run that, nothing happens. I'm just, this is just regular Python. So to actually have these rendered out, I have to use this magic cell key called um, render, which is what we imported here from, from hand calcs. And this allows me to just get these um, variables and just basically print them out. So now if I run that, I have them here. I have x is equal to 23, mu is equal to 45, and sigma is equal to 3. And it's amazing because, again, it replaces sigma with the actual Simba, sim, Simba, what? Sigma symbol, um, which you can see here. Um, and then one thing that I've noticed is that I tend to um, forget to put params, but this is usually the safe way to do it. Um, so when you're printing out variables, you would want to put params because it's kind of like, okay, render the parameters. It's kind of like um, you're telling hand calcs exactly what you're rendering. So params is kind of like aka the variables. So you're rendering out the parameters, which are your variables. And so by default, it's in short form, meaning it takes up as much space as it can in the same line. But if I wanted to be long form, I could just literally write long, run that, and it'll take up as much space as it can vertically versus horizontal. Um, so that's one thing. Moving on to the equation. So again, the equation is, I don't know how many times I have to repeat it. Let me just write it instead. So it's z is equal to x minus mu and then divided by sigma, right? So I'm actually going to put these in parentheses here just in case. And then again, I'll go up here, put in my 2% signs telling Python this is a magic 